Well, hello, and welcome to a <laughs> Are you kidding me? <sighs> well, I guess I'm gonna have to teach you how to play from here. So, hello, I'm Dummy Danny. You can call me Danny, I'm not dumb, just your lucky dummy buddy. You may be asking, what's the point of this game? What have I gotten my kids into with such a product? Well, clearly it's about, it, um, it, it, it's more like a, it started off as a, uh, y you know what, it doesn't matter. Now, let's start with some basics. Movement. A baby's first steps, literally, to exploring the great world ahead of them. Just press any of the buttons on screen to move while using the mouse to look. Good job. Now you can only go so far without jumping. Something babies suck at doing. Press the button to jump a million meters in the air! That was pitiful. But you know how to jump, so you're better than you were before. By about two meters. Next up, there's a beautiful little button that puts you into something called ragdoll mode. It's kind of important for a game like this. Go ahead and press it. You'll see what it does. Oh, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. And you're not impressed. You know what? You know what? That's all right. This is probably because you didn't have enough oomph to it. Try knocking yourself around a few times with that new ragdoll button. All right, all right. You get the idea. No need to knock yourself into a coma. Yeah. But did you notice anything? Specifically with the glowing sparkly beam thing that appears whenever you respawn? Before you say anything, no, you're not a vampire. Last guy who thought that actually was and ended up burning into a crisp. They don't sparkle in the moonlight. Whoever sold you that pickle sticks was lying. Did Hotel Transylvania teach you guys anything? I I'm sorry, I, I can't help it. I have this unhealthy addiction to speaking facts. Now. Moving forward with my addiction, you can set your spawn point by pressing the button on screen. Nice job there, Edward. You're doing great. You'll respawn there from now on. Next up, let me tell you about a pretty important feature of the game. There's something called build mode. While in build mode, everything resets back to the way it was. You'll be using it quite a bit. Give it a shot. You can tell you're in build mode by the red icon up at the top right of the screen. As the name suggests, you typically build in build mode. Let's try it. To select an item, press the... Uh, oh, okay, well, I see you've already done that. Alrighty then. I'm sure you can figure out the next step without me even mentioning it. No, oh, go ahead. Go ahead. I won't stop you. Oh, you're not dumb. You are smart. Let's see if you can figure out how to remove it. Oh, and I see you know how to remove items as well. Look at you. You've grown up so fast. It's like not too long ago you were just a little baby. Just learning how to move around and now... Oh man! I'm proud of you. I'd give you a trophy, but I'm paralyzed everywhere. So, just give me a little five or something, and we'll call it a day. Ow! No, that, that wasn't a low five. That was, that was pain. That was mean and painful. You know what? The last time you were here, there was an important bit of information I tried to tell you, but you didn't want to hear it. Well, just for that physical abuse you just put me through, I'm not going to tell you what it was. Instead, I'm going to tell you about this cool Easter egg that's in the game. It's really cool because when you find it...